Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Mythgard in Middle-Earth. I am Corey Olson, the Tolkien Professor, back with you. Sorry, I'm a little later than usual today. I know uh, I had to... It's the last week of school for my kids, and I, we had half days today, and I've been uh, dashing off trying to pick them up and get them back here in time for the stream. So a little little tricky at the beginning here today uh but we uh we got everything together so welcome welcome everybody and uh grifflet is back and he's ready now to continue his uh, explorations down here in Enidwyth, uh and to talk to the al greg which he just learned is like a racial slur or something that he's been using accidentally or rather that the dunadine have been using um that the Algrag means outsiders, and so that's what these people are called by the other Dunlendings. So that was a little awkward. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. So we're so we're we're all set. So Grifflet has just been kind of hanging with them, trying to, you know, uh, acclimate himself to their ways uh, and see if he could get them to explain why those asymmetrically placed sets of stones banded in metal are placed around their campsite. He hasn't figured that out yet, but he's going to be on the lookout for similar stone pillars in other encampments and places, because this is a mystery that still needs solving. So, okay, up and Adam Griffit, 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 let's go. Let's sort this out. So, um, we were just sent here two weeks ago by uh, Cyrodon with a bunch of gifts, right? We got we collected all those pelts and feathers and 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 all manner of things, and uh, we're, we presented them and they agreed to talk to us. So that's as far as we got. Okay, the gift of your devotee odd friends is welcome, but we are not prone to blindly accept the friendship of strangers, though you are prone to split infinitives, I see, but that's totally cool. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly approve of the splitting of infinitives. Uh, if you wish to earn our trust, you must lend us your aid. Right, okay, I mean, we did. I did aid you already, and I uh, gave you permission to split your infinitives, but that's fine. I'm happy to help more, actually. I and my people have seen evil shadows moving among our herd at night, shadows of goat shape, but blacker than night, and with red eyes like fire. They remind us of the Drugovar, demon goats of our legends. I had never seen such things in my childhood, and so I never believed. Now it seems many of many things of old tales haunt us. Oh, that is very interesting. Uh, find the truth of the matter among our goats. Okay, now that's a sentence that's kind of awkward, isn't it? Perhaps you may find the truth of the matter among our goats. Okay, maybe we will. Our herd is there to the west of our camp. Okay, I will find signs of the Drugovar, demon goats among the goat, her goat herds. Okay, very good. Um, uh, huh. See, what's particularly interesting about that is that, so, here, so these people have these legends of times past, and um, uh, so, okay, so they... They have these legends of time past, and he always thought that it was that they were just legends, that there wasn't truth in it. But now, recently, things have begun to stir. That's the part of it that strikes me as so fascinating, right? That um, here in Enidwyth, which is, let's be honest, this is the middle of nowhere, right? It's not close to, to you know, like uh, the upper area door, like the place where all the action always has been, right? Um up in the old days and, and still in the greater Rivendell area and all that stuff now. It's v it's still far from the South Kingdom. I mean, even at the height of Arnor and Gondor, Enidwyth was still kind of the middle of nowhere. I mean, we saw the road and the nicely paved road with the beautiful arches and everything that uh, that came through here and the fortress up on the hill and stuff. So you know, there was a presence here. But this was the middle of nowhere, right? I mean, there's still no question about the fact this was the middle of nowhere. Um, so... No one really was turning their particular malevolent attention to this region before, um, which is actually kind of an interesting thing with the whole Saruman plot, right? Um, is that to a certain extent, Saruman is kind of trying to fill the void, or rather, in a way of thinking about it, what we see Saruman doing is kind of a very Tolkienian sort of pattern, right? Where he is doing, again, but in kind of a smaller version what has happened before, right? So Sauron's pattern from the end of the first age onwards has been, you know, he sets himself up as like a king, gets revered as a king slash worshipped as a god, and he um, 
you know, he gains the fear and the loyalty of people. This is, of course, what we saw happening with the mountain people down in Gondor. You know, that led to that whole awkward Stone of Erech business and the Oathbreakers, right? Um, just as Sauron gained their loyalty slash devotion, right? And that of many of the peoples out in the east, obviously, um, and has been building his kingdom that way. Uh, we saw that, you know, this was this has been this has been sort of the pattern. In a sense, it's like what Morgoth did as well certainly with many of the tribes of men. So Saruman is running the playbook, right? He is trying to make of the Dunlendings uh, a similar kind of kingdom. So like the, the Dunlendings are for Saruman what the Easterlings are for Sauron, essentially. Um, and remember the Witch King ran the same playbook with the Hillmen up in Angmar. Uh, remember the... Uh, uh, the, the sort of evil Breland architecture that we looked at, right? We could see how the hill men were connected to the Brelanders, um, but had been, uh, you know, corrupted into the service of Angmar, as was so uh, plain to be seen from their architecture, right? So, um, uh, so yeah, so uh, we, we can see that's that's the general playbook, and we see, so we see Saruman running it here. And it's interesting, again, because, as, as I said, this was the middle of nowhere, so nobody ever ran that playbook here. I mean, the Dunlendings have been kind of on their own. Um, uh, it's not even... Uh, I mean, they've been on their own, apart from their enmity with the Rohirrim, right? The uh, Clearly, um, you know, the stewards of Gondor made an enemy of them by, you know, giving the lands of... Kalinarthan to the Rohirrim, lands which the Dunlendings claimed. So there's that history, but there's very little other history that we can see. So I think that's kind of fun, right? Um, the, it's, it's, it's interesting to see how that plays out. It certainly gives a lot of scope for the plot lines of this area, right? As we see, these are people who have never been servants of the enemy before. And yet, they've been traditionally cast in the role of enemy, right? They've been the antagonists of the good guys, um, but they've never been under the servant, uh, under the service of the enemy before. Uh, and so that's kind of an interesting thing to watch as we uh, begin to come down, and we begin it here with uh, with the Algraig here. All right, but anyway, okay, uh, we got uh, uh, who's this? Priam. Oh, thank you. As long as the sun shines, I am welcome. Well, that's really nice. Um, Okay, uh, Gruffith says that your friends sent medicine and furs for trade. It is a good demonstration of trust, but our trust is not so easily earned. Too much dwells in this land that we do not understand. Many evil spirits. Okay, many evil spirits dwell. So she's like, this land is lousy with evil spirits, right? Whereas the other guy is like, I've heard of demon goats, but I never believed in them demon goats. So we seem to have a variety of theological opinions here within the camp. That's fine. Just last night, I was seeking a lost goat and saw what I believe was a Kuthraul, an evil spirit floating in the air near Gwilion's Gate. The old woman of the mountain who lives beyond that pass is a strange creature, so the sight of such a spirit was not surprising, but I fear its presence. Okay, so there's an old woman of the mountain, uh, and she's strange, and therefore you weren't surprised to see a ghost. Interesting. Okay. Um... It's a, it's a very intriguing line of reasoning there, uh, uh, Hryain. Uh, will I seek evidence that what I saw was not just my imagination? Uh, okay, right, so I'm looking for ghosts and demon goats. Uh, if the Kuthraul appears, will I be able to banish it? Maybe so. Uh, uh, Gullion's gate lies south from here. I've only seen the spirit at night. Right. Okay. Um, hey, well, fortunately it is night. What time of night is it? How much? Four dawn. Oops. Hurry, Grifflet. Get on your pony and let's move. Um, head south here. Wait. Right? No? North? Dark spirits of the... Yeah. Okay, yeah. South. Head south, Grifflet. That's where you want to go. All right. So we're looking for ghosts before the sun rises. Let's see. I don't want to head too far. Oh, look! Ghosts! Sure enough, there's one. Is this dude evidence enough? No? Where were you going? You're just like randomly attacking that wolf over there? 
Okay, so I can, like, sight, get into combat with, and ultimately slay a ghost, and it's not, that's insufficient evidence? Okay, no, it is. I got it. Dark spirits in the way. Okay, but he doesn't count for one that I kill. Right. Oh, a wolf. Hi. Yeah, no, great to see you. I don't think I have a quest for you, so I have no quarrel with you, good Sir Wolf. But I must pass this pass. Okay. Um, all right, so quick, let us look for... Am I near there? Right, am I in the right spot for ghosts? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, there's one. Let's see if I can nab three ghosts before dawn. Go, Grivlet, ghost hunter! The shadow in the east shall fall upon you. Okay, so it's clear where his loyalties lie. So, see, now this brings us back to the... Whoa, hi there, Mr. Go... Sorry, I only have one hand still, Mr. Ghost. I still have my cast on my hand, so I'm a little bit awkward. I apologize, Mr. Ghost, that I was staring uh, so invasively into your midriff right there. Um, I didn't mean it. Uh, okay. That's three. Let's see. Uh, crows? No, don't really care about the crows so much. Wolf. I see a couple ghosts. And a banner of the white hand. See? Interesting, right? The spirits are all talking about the shadow in the east. Um, so again, it's clear where their ultimate loyalty lies. That also, of course, serves to explain why our friend Groveth up there hadn't seen, you know, spirits of this... Oh, he just summoned some crawling arms. That's fun. You have no power over me? That's an ironic thing to say as you die, isn't it? Fall into shadows. Okay. Anyway, so it would explain why there have been, you know, there's a, a sudden increase, right? Why there should be now spirits stirring that hadn't been stirring before. My spirit shall wither before the eye, which is very similar, of course, to what the Witch King says to Eowyn. Okay. All right. Good. We completed this in time. Um, and there's a banner here. It's um, so what's their connection with Saruman then? Does Saruman have a hand in stirring up the ghosts? The banner bears the symbol of the white hand, the charge of the traitor Saruman. Cyrodan will certainly wish to know of this. Right, okay, I'm sure he will. Okay. But I want to figure it out, right? Okay, so we're done with ghosts, so I can do goats now. Right? All right, let's go... See if we can head north and, and find some goats. All right. Okay, so... All right, let me keep trying to think this through here. If the ghosts... the Sorry, I should give them by their proper names. What is that again? The Kuthrowl? Right, if the Kuthrowl... Let's, let's give them their local name. If the Kuthrowl... Uh, have um, okay, there we are. Uh, if the Kuthral are from Sauron ultimately right um, hey you guys see any goats I'm looking for a, like a herd of goats somewhere no Let's, let's go out on the point. Oh, man. See, now I got wolves. Aha! Goats! But soft. What goats in yonder? Oh, hang on. Aha! There are demon goats and wolves. Domesticated goats being gently herded and uh, probably uh, uh, corrupted by the demon goats, which are probably teaching them no end of bad habits. Come on, Mr. Wolf, please, lay off, would you? Okay, so what's the story here? You know what, stealth, just to convince people I remember how to do that. I probably can't pick the goat's pockets. Okay, demon goats. Do your eyes really gr glow red? They do. Look at that. That is intimidating. Woohoo! Oh, you're all after me. That's fun. 
Yeah, okay. I was just looking at you and seeing if your eyes really glowed. And they do. I can see that now. Um, hey, I found signs for the Drugovar among the goats. I'd, okay. Oh, dang it. I was hoping to keep one of them. Oh, well. All right, so let me not look at you when you're all clustered together, right? Uh, can you guys disperse some? That'd be handy, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, can you guys break it up a little? Having a little goat conclave here in the middle of the goat pen. Hmm. Uh... Boy, you guys are really uh, showing some solidarity there. Really, don't you feel like you're invading each other's personal space? Even a little bit? I'll pick your pockets. Maybe that will help. No. No pockets. So what is this dark stain in the middle of the field? Obviously, that's the most interesting thing here, right? Okay, hey, that one's wandering off. Oh, good. Excellent. That's a little better. Run! Did I only get two of them at least? Okay, well, two is better than... Two is better than three. Okay, nice. All right. I did, in fact, find evidence. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, can I drag his corpse back? Um, okay. Oh, no. No, I just have to kill them. Man, wow, they regen like nobody's business. But they went down pretty easy. Oh, sure. Now one wanders over all by itself. That is awfully non-compliant of them. Um... So, to, never mind. I was just going to start a conversation with the demon goat. So tell me, uh, are you a goat who is a demon? Or are you a goat, like, under the influence of demons? Or how does that work? Like, are you part demon? Are you the spawn of a goat and a demon? Which is, frankly, fairly disturbing. Um, I don't really get it, but I do know I should probably not stand in your spawning spot forever if I don't want to be fighting goats until the end of time. Oh, good. I just have the one. Strong work. Okay. Um, good, so I think I'm finished with those. Yes, I am. Excellent. Let's go back and talk to my new Dunlending friends. Hey, they're right up here. Hey, Groveth, seriously, man. Like, all you have to do is stand up and you can see evidence of the demon goats for yourself. I can totally see them from here. But that's okay. I don't mind. Wait, okay, the Okluth have no use for Devodiat. Uh, right. Well, you know, I'm not sure that's true. Okay, uh, first, Groveth, yeah, seriously, man the goats. They're right there. It's a fell sign. Yes. Uh, were I able to banish the spirit from our goats? Well, no, no. They regen like nobody's business, man. And there's this like big amorphous black thing in the middle of the, uh, of the field. And I'm not really sure about the cause and effect, right? It could be that that is an evil infection that spreads from the presence of demon goats, because although demon goats themselves are not explicitly attested in Tolkien's corpus, nevertheless, it's really clear that evil creatures infect the areas around them, right? Just like the desolation of Smaug, except smaller. So it's like the desolation of Smaug, except on goat scale, right? So it's like the desolation of the pasture uh, instead of the desolation of a kingdom, um, so scaled for goats, that's pretty much how it seems to work. But it also seems, given how quickly they spawned, that that black thing might be the source of them rather than be caused by them. So some more experimentation is required, Graveth, in order to figure this out. Um, um, 
I have your I am I am Glus. I am holy among you. Wow, I've gone from like stranger to uh ho- I'm holy because I banished demon goats. Well, it was surprisingly easy for all that, but that's cool. Um, see, look at that. She's calling me Glus as well, so that's great. Uh, okay, none of our folk have ever been able to banish the Kuthral. We praise you, Glus Devotiad. Okay, all right. Well, hey, um, that's that's great. Um, I was so glad to help. Tell me more about this old woman of the mountain, though. Okay. Uh, Shadows of Fear. You are a Devodiad from distant lands. I am. I am not sure what help you can be. I can banish things, apparently. I'm keen to figure out the goat issue. Um, if the banishment you performed seems to have only been temporary. It, well, exactly. Right. That's just what I was talking about. Uh, go out once more and fend off these evil demons. If you will, I will reward you. Our herds graze there. Right. I, I saw them. Right. Right there. Um, defeat more of them. Just, just kill more of them. Okay. Um, uh, we need to think a little more long term here. Uh, uh, chap with no consonants. Um, oh, consonantally challenged. We have little time to speak. Yeah, okay. Right. Or little to speak of. <laughs> or, or little to speak of. Okay, not to put too fine a point on it. Uh, okay, uh, my power against the Kuthral is great, but more have been seen hunting, haunting, hunting, haunting, haunting the lands. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, right. Will I seek out these fell spirits and banish them as well? Sure. So kill more of them. Right. I feel they will possess our goats and call forth Drugavar. Oh, dear. So is that how the cause and effect work? You think? So you think the ghosts come and possess the goats? Okay. Well, that's a theory, but... But what do you make about the... See, there's that, like, big black patch again, like the desolation of the field, right? Which I'm still kind of keen on explaining. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, hang on. Look at me. See, I was just about to do my little mini guardian thing, right? But I'm totally not a guardian. I am a stealthy burglar. And so I'm going to come in and approach this in a much more burglarious fashion. Hi there, you two. Oh, can you follow me and come away from the spawning spite? I'd, uh, spawning spot. A surprisingly difficult phrase to say. I'd rather fight you up here on the hill. Oh, all three of you. Sure, yeah. Why not? No, let's do that. Uh, I think that sounds fun. Uh, especially since I think I don't have my stealth here today, uh, which makes it really a more entertaining prospect than usual. Okay, so there we go. I'm still alive so far, um, although the same can't be said now for two out of the three goats, uh, demon goats that is, not wouldn't slay the domesticated goats. Uh, I am, boy, and they just keep flying out of that. It's not an oh, I can't even examine it because. I, okay, right. I did the same thing I did before. I don't know why that dude thinks that's going to be more permanently useful. There they come. It doesn't look like a dimensional portal from the, like, dimension of evil livestock. Um, could it be a, an infection that's been placed in this area, or perhaps a curse upon the goats themselves? Maybe it's a curse upon the herd. Yeah, that seems a little more likely. Uh, okay, I don't know if it's actually more likely, but um, would kind of be cooler. Uh, so where am I going? Oh, yeah, I might as well... Now let's go. Let's go. Let's go hunt some more uh, haunts. That's what we'll do. Uh, see, yes. Uh, okay, it's like the skin of evil um, in Star Trek: The Next Generation. It does kind of look like it, right? Um, I mean, it hasn't. Uh, oh, will any of these do? Yes, they will. All right. I have found ghosts. Um, it doesn't seem to, like, come up and, cry, and it can't make itself into an anthropomorphic shape, nor does it appear to have telepathic powers. Uh, so in, in, in many ways... Ooh, the hand is but a tool for the eye. Oh, hang on. We've got to talk about that there. That's, a, that's, that's what people in the business call a clue. 
right? Okay. And I love how they say you have no power over me, which I, I forget who it was, uh, which of you, someone in the chat was thinking of, uh, of Labyrinth, the movie, uh, and certainly I was as well with that quotation. Um, but anyway, okay, but back to the skin of evil. Yeah, so it's not exactly like the skin of evil, um, uh, but, uh, but it does look kind of like it, doesn't it? Right? Maybe it's like the skin of evil, and it was it's sort of like the distilled... I'm going in the wrong direction. Uh, like the dis, like some kind of projected or distilled evil from local inhabitants, right? So is it is it a curse for from these spirits? Does it have something to do with this old woman of the mountain person, right? I don't really know. Okay, all right. I think we need to talk to our friend. Uh, 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 what do you think? Is he a one-syllable I-A-U-I-U-A-N? Is it a... It's got to be Yuan, right? It's got to be Yuan. I figure that's got to be it. Okay, let's call him Yuan. All right, Yuan. I did more banishing. I'm, like, fully twice as holy as I was before. Uh, ooh, our tales tell the demon goats, but I never thought to actually be haunted by them. You'll have our friendship forever if you continue to protect us. Okay. I killed a bunch more demon goats. Don't think it did any good, to be perfectly honest with you. What have we to say to each other, Devodia? <laughs> I've saved your goats again. Yes. For several seconds. They were safe for quite some time. Uh, and I killed some more goats. Leave us alone. We will leave it's hard to talk about peace. goats and ghosts at the same time. Uh, you don't know how I'm able to banish these spirits. Um with uh, uh, pertinacity and attitude. Um, but you praise me in song. Ooh, can I hear the song? Okay. All right, uh, so that's all you got for me. So I'm going to go talk to Cyrodon because we got to figure out this old woman of the mountain thing. Right? Uh, so, yeah, Cyrodon, my quest arrow is taking me to Cyrodon, so I'll go cross country here through the wind fells to try to get to Cyrodon's place. Where's the main road? Still somewhere up ahead here. This is one of those random gorges with a path through it. Right, where am I? Here I am, yep. Okay. I'll follow this up and dodge fear casters along the way. The hand is but a tool for the eye. Okay. This gives us two pieces of information. Right? It is clear, it was already clear, that these ghost spirits have their loyalty to Sauron, ultimately, and not to Saruman. However, the, f the reference to the hand as a tool indicates that Saruman is, in fact, commanding them. Right, That they're acknowledging Saruman in some sense, though with a certain amount of um, disdain. Right? Uh, because uh, they don't, they, you know, it is actually Sauron that they're serving. But they're acknowledging that the hand is in fact a tool for the eye. So it's both a piece of disdain, but also an acknowledgement of cooperation. So presumably they're cooperating with Saruman, right? Um, and presumably this is the real path and not another fake path, so that I don't end up trying to scale a cliffside again, as I am so wont to do when trying to find Saruman's camp. Uh, right, so... Okay, so if that's the... Okay, thank you. Um, hey, I did find the right path. Um, the hand is a tool for the eye. So Saruman has called these things up and they are working with him. The ghosts, spirits, are working with him but they have, but they disdain him because they know that, like, secretly, right, they're uh, working for Sauron, really, not really secretly, probably, right, but they're only following Saruman because they're in league with Sauron. Um, so Saruman's, that means, therefore, that Saruman's plans in this area are not done 
without Sar Sauron's approval. So Sauron and Saruman are scheming together to gain control over Enidwyth and Dunland. Seems to be the conclusion, right? Which is not obvious, by the way, right? It's not obvious that when he was, uh, that what he's doing with the Dunlendings and all of the stuff that he's doing over here in Eriador, or Saruman, I mean, um, that he could be just part of setting up on his own entirely and doing it in despite of Sauron rather than, uh, than through him or because of him. So, okay. All right, Saradon, I found a, yeah, oh, sign of the white sense. hand. Uh, yep, it's no secret that Saruman the White has strong influence over the men of Dunland, but we did not know that he troubled Enidwyth. There are few inhabitants, and they keep to themselves. If Saruman's influence has indeed reached into Enidwyth, many of these strange happenings are easily explained. Okay. All right. Uh... Oh no, I already did the I already did this. We already did the outstretched hand, right? I did that. Um a more secret way. Oh, no, that's just the vector quest. Hmm. Okay, I'm forgetting people. I thought that I was on my path. I, I must have I must have made a mistake in my quest chain planning. Um, what else do I have to do to get to the the old the old woman of the mountain? I want I want to do the old woman of the mountain quest chain. I want to finish the old woman of the mountain quest chain. Uh, what am I missing? I was sure that if I did those quests and then I came up and told Sardan about the white hand, that he'd send me somewhere else. But so far, he's not sent me somewhere else. I mean, okay, he has, but not where I want to go. Do I get, have to go back to them up there? Okay. I think I have to go back. Um, yeah, so I don't remember. It's from the goat herders. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I was pretty sure. I'm going to go back to the goat herders and see if they've got anything else for me now that I've told Cyrodiil about the white hand, the banner of the white hand there. So let's go back and find the goat herders. They were a little more far north. <laughs> uh... Well, there's a very sensible reason why you want to say nerf herders, Melindrian. Um, it's, uh, well, and let's be honest, right? Like, those goat herders are pretty scruffy looking. Right? I mean, you just can't deny their scruffy lookingness. So uh, I, I think it, it makes all kinds of sense. Uh, it's a very sensible connection. Okay, we're still north of here. Where's the thing? Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's what I want. And this is Gwilian's Gate, right? Okay, so I'm pointed straight to that, so I want to go a little bit north and then east. Not so many landmarks in this part of Windfells. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking for uh, demon goats out in plain sight. That's how I know I'm, I'm almost there. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's the skin of evil. There it is, Natesh. Uh huh. So, still haven't solved that question, and no, we don't have any new quests. Dang it! I must have forgotten a prereq, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Oh well. I'll have to come back to this. Then, in the meantime, let's uh, let's explore. If I can't finish my Windfell's quest, then I'm going to go out to the Gloom Glens, because that was Griffith's next stop anyway. So I guess that's where we'll go. We can always come back and finish the Windfells once I figure out what I missed. Uh, 
because obviously I missed something. All right, here's where I got the feathers. That's great. Oh, right, I forgot these uh, crabine will aggro on me. Well, no big deal. I can outrun the crows. My faithful pony. So let's go to the Gloom Glens and see, because Griffith's particularly excited to see what he can find out in the Gloom Glens. Yeah, no, we're not going to Hlanuk. No, no, that's not where we're going. We're going to the Gloom Glens. We'll go to Hlanuk later and meet Wadu's dad and tell him that we found his said his son dead by the side of the road and left his body to rot in the open and be eaten by carrion fowl, which I kind of felt guilty about at the time. So I have to admit all these things to his father, which, frankly, I'm not looking forward to. So we're going to procrastinate that, and we're just going to go to the Gloom Ooh. Oh, that's that place up on the hill, right? I love this. It's one of my favorite things in Lotro, to be going through the wilderness like this, and then boom, you see something off on the horizon like that, right? Really intriguing looking like that's not only a fortress, but like a huge, ginormous statue. Yeah. Griffith can't wait to look at that thing. Figure out what that is all about. Okay, here's the main road. Good, good. So, we need to... Let's get north of the fortress there. Okay, see, Matthias, I thought I was supposed to get it from Siren once I handed in the banner quest, but it totally didn't happen. Um, Okay, so what are the other prereqs? I needed to do Collars of the Accursed, Dark Crystals, and Sign of the White Hand. I did Sign of the White Hand, right? But I didn't think, I don't think I did Collars of the Accursed. Nor did I come any closer to solving the goat problem and figuring out what the skin of evil was all about. Um, oh, check my loot! Duh! Oh, I always forget that. I hate the stupid loot spark. Oh, of course, there they are, all over the place. Uh-huh. And Dark Morgul Stones as well. Okay, right now, I see. I hate it when that happens. Okay, this Dark Crystal is cold to the time. I never think to look at the loot for this. This always happens to me. I, I don't think there's been a single time that a loot-oriented quest has, like, when I have not gone and find, like, and here's 15 versions of this one piece of loot that you... Okay. All right, this dark crystal is cold to the touch and sends chills down your spine. It may have something to do with how the Kuthral were summoned to Gwilian's Gate to begin with. Of course he'll want to see that. Who wouldn't want to see that? Okay, all right, hang on. Now let's go back to our inventory, which is now over full. And what do we have? This collar is cold to the touch and sends a chill down your spine. Oh, dear. You cannot read the evil runes upon it, but perhaps Syredon can. That's right. Well, let's not take it to Candyth because that could be embarrassing. But hang on. So from where we are, I can get back down to him by the path rather than going back down around the road. Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, yeah, I, I... And then and then the, the worst thing of all, right, is that not only do you collect like, uh, you know, 80 versions of the, the, the quest loot, right, but then you can't, do, like, you either have to wait for them all to time out, or you have to go through and delete them all one by one. Hate that. Okay, sorry. All right. Well, that's so. Grifflet almost got to the Gloom Glens, but not quite. He'll have to put that off and see. Can I get through this way? I believe I can. Hi there, Deserter Shield Bearer. Ooh. Oh, this is an exciting path. I like this. Right through. Hi. Yeah, just passing through. Sorry. Yeah, I'm on the way over here. I'm just going this way, so don't mind me. I'm, uh, I've already examined your architecture, and really, it's lovely. Um, so I'm just going to go talk to Cyrodon, okay? So you guys um, do your thing, and I'd thank you to stop shooting me soon-ish, if that could be arranged. Thanks. Um, okay. All right, I think... I think we're good. Um, I'm still in combat, but I think I've shaken most of them off there. Cyrodon's camp up ahead. All right. Um, very good. Phew. Okay, Cyrodon. So, oh, 
Oh, hi, Alanil. Good to see you. Okay. Um. Now. What can I do for you? You can read runes, right? I know these runes well enough to know that the tongue written here upon is the black speech. Okay, so you can identify the can the the, the black speech just like Candith, but can you read it? You can investigate further. Okay, fine. And these dark crystals. How can I be of service? Right. This foul crystal bears the taint of Morgul. Right. Someone of great power in the service of the enemy was responsible for summoning these spirits. Such was my suspicion. Okay. And now. Uh huh. The mystery deepens. Oh, good. Okay. Whew. Grifflet, the banner you found is itself enough evidence that Saruman the White stirs trouble in this land. Certainly. But the evils which you have encountered speak to a much more sinister plan. You should go to Groveth and learn if he has encountered any emissaries of the White Hand, and if so, what the emissary desired of his people. Okay, yeah, I know where he is. Uh, you just go to the skin of evil and turn... Okay. So, um... Let's, uh... Go the fast way here, down the hill. All right, now pony up, and let's go back to the goats. All right. Um. <laughs> these druids fire. I knew that would make you nervous, right? I knew druids fire was going to be like, oh, see here, look, I leave him alone for one week, and he's like running straight through Dunlending encampments. Uh, yeah, but see, no problem. I made it. That was the way I died the first time I ever died. The first time Wigan was ever defeated was exactly by that mechanism. It was in the uh, one of the bandit encampments in the Chetwood, as I recall. And uh, Wigan had never been defeated in fair combat, um, but it was one of those, I just kind of got impatient, and I was like, well, I've never been killed, so I think I'll just uh, kind of plow through and outrun everybody. And I didn't. I ended up having like I don't even know, like fifteen or twenty brigands all like shooting at me at once, and uh, they uh, they took poor Wigan down. Uh, but uh, but Griffith made it just fine. No problems. Um, okay. All right. Um, Let's see. Oh, got a wolf chasing me, but that's just a temporary inconvenience. Okay, goat herders. I hope to be able to get to the bottom of your embarrassing demon goat problem. We'll figure out how we can handle the skin of evil. That wolf's still chasing me. No, it is not. All right, Groveth. What do you think? What do you need? You've never seen such a banner. Well, considering you can't see the goats that are right over there, I'm not that surprised. So, uh, nor spoken with anyone who bore such a sign. If you found the banner near to Gwilian's Gate, then there is one person and one person alone who may be able to help you. All right. You must speak with Gwilian, the old woman of the mountain. Her hut sits upon the side of the mountain beyond Gwilian's Gate. All you have to do is follow the path. Be wary, the old woman of the mountain is a gurak, a witch from a luth in the south. If you do not come in respect, she may take it ill. Okay. Talk to Gwilian, and I don't even have to kill things along the way. Swell! That's lovely. So we'll go to Gwilian. We will look at her hut. We will examine the basic architectural style that she seems to favor, and then we'll ask her about emissaries of the White Hand, and I'm sure... I'm very confident that she's going to be very forthcoming and generally helpful in the cause of doing right. Uh, so let's get back to where we found our first ghosts before dawn, which was kind of exciting and I'm really sort of glad that that worked out. And I've already got wolves chasing me, which is awkward, but no, hey, but it's daytime, so we won't have ghosts, right? So that's nice. Will, the, will there be demon goats during the day, I wonder? Okay, let's see. Hang on, gotta stop. Oh, there are ghosts. Here we go, because we're up in the past now. All right, so let's dismount and stealth up. All right, Grifflet. 
Go find the old woman of the mountain. Excuse me, Mr. Goat. Oh, look at that. You really are mean looking. And I still don't get it. Because they don't look like spirits, right? Like there's just nothing transparent about these demon goats. Uh, so I'm not thinking that they're ghostly, which means they must be what? Corporeal incarnations? Or are they, the again, like the disturbing spawn of demons and goats? I don't know. Hey, guys. I'd prefer, especially if large groups of you don't aggro on me at once, that'd be handy, because I'm told this path leads to the old woman of the mountain, and I as yet bear her no ill will. Um, oh, I see a stone wall. Hark! Sign of civilization! Here we go, and... What do we have here? So... A very crude stone wall. I mean, I don't mean that as an insult, of course, but it's not like this is not a, a relic. Uh, this is just a, a stone wall, right? Um, okay, so given the fact that there are ghosts flitting around in her yard itself, there's Gwilian's hut. Okay. Whoa! Who is that guy? Filk Filskum. Filskum. Filskum, the. Are you a Uruk High? Are you an Uruk? Ah, oh, but you do not look friendly. Ah, uh, okay. Um, do I get to talk? Can I knock on the door? No, I can't. Um, but I can at least look at the hut. So, it's made of a cruder stone foundation with uh, with more with sort of cut stones on top I love the overhang on the thatched roof right it's like having a porch all the way around that's great so okay can I jump up on top of the thatched roof because Griffith wants to explore so Griffith can't even get over there that is out of bounds I can't Okay. Can't jump on the roof, huh? Yes. Am I on the roof? No. Oh, I can't. I'm wanting to see. Is that open at the top? Uh, so he he here's here's what I want to see. I'm trying to figure out if there's a louver on top of the roof. This is important. Well, it's important from a from a, a philological standpoint. Uh, that's a word that Tolkien really struggled with. Uh, because, it's, you know, louver is the word, right, for like the little hinged flap up on top to let smoke out of the top of a, of a roof. And he used the word louver in the description of um, Meduselt. But he agonized over that because, of course, louver is a French word. And he really didn't want to use a French word to describe uh, something, you know, a Rohiric thing like that. But, like, there wasn't a word. He, there, there's not, there wasn't an Anglo-Saxon word for that thing. Um, so he wanted there to be a louver, um, but he didn't have a word for louver, so he ended up giving up and using the French word. Um, so I wanted to see if she had a louver, because that seems important. Um, and she probably does. I imagine there's a fire pit in there. But okay. Um, oh, wait. I just talked to Cyrodon? All I had to do was see the orc? Oh. Okay. I'll go back to Cyrodon then. Scouting done. Can I jump? Can I take the direct route? No. Wow. It's a... It's an impenetrable stone wall. Oh, well, right. Because that makes sense, I guess. Um, wait, no, it doesn't. Because I'm facing north here. Oh, okay, I guess I'm still too far towards the edge of the map. 
Okay. Ready? Now. Jump, Griffith. Yeehaw! Now stealth. In a second. Hang on. Wait for it, goats. Okay. Excellent. Great shortcut, Griffith. Okay. A nice little... A nice little... No combat trip to the old woman in the mountain's hut to see a very large orc standing guard outside. And now straight back to the ranger. Excellent. That was very burglarious of you, Griffith. I'm proud of you. All right. Okay, quest arrow oriented in the right place. Yes, it is. We are headed to Echad Saradon with another wolf in tow as usual okay okay oh hey Cordovan good to see you thanks for joining yeah no we're having fun we're exploring Enidwife uh uh so you can so oh by the way so I never we never explained the king, our conclusions right I was keen to see the architectural style of the old woman uh, of the mountains hut which is distinctively Dunlendish right so it looks like a Dunlendish hut in fact it looks kind of like the huts that we can see over there though not exactly the same right I mean we can see Klanuk there off in the distance and look at that thing's a little more fancy that they've got they've got a more upgrade on their huts down there so. Um, which suggests that her hut is like an old school Dunlending hut, right? Um, <clears throat> but the uh, Groveth and company sent us there in order to get more information, right? They were like, only one person would be able to help you, and that's the old woman of the mountain, as if she was going to be a help. Um, maybe we're meant to think she's a victim, perhaps, because we didn't actually see her, right? All we saw was an orc, so maybe she's being held hostage by the orc. That seems not very likely, but possible, I guess. We'll see what Siren thinks about that. Um, all right. How can I be of service? I was waylaid by an orc high... Well, he attempted to waylay me, but I was way too burglarious for him. Uh, at the home of Gwilion, and he seemed to be guarding the old woman's hut. Yes. I fear this Gurak... As the, as the Ukluth call her, is a sorceress in league with Saruman. Well, that seems likely. Not an inescapable conclusion, but a likely conclusion. So, from what I have told you, it appears that Gwilion is indeed in league with the traitor Saruman. Well, we have some, some circumstantial evidence which points in that direction, Cyrodon, but, you know, let's run with it. I expect she is also responsible for the apparitions which have been troubling the Ukluth. Now that what what could be more likely? Return tonight and confront the sorceress. Perhaps with her gone, the Ukluth may be able to live without fear. Uh, so you think she conjured the skin of evil that's summoning demon goats? Oh. Oh! Good, I don't have to wait until night. It's an instance. Hooray! Okay, may the Valar guide me. Excellent. Well, let's hope so. Okay. Gullion, the old woman of the mountain, in service to Sauron the White, has brought terror to the herdsmen of the Ukluth. Right. Sauron yes. now seeks to bring her reign of terror to an end. Reign of terror. We've escalated to reign of terror already, right? It's a little, you know, you're kind of getting ahead of your data here, Sauron. But I, you know, again, let's let's go with it. Am I prepared? Ah, uh, no, not really. But let's go. With this hag's ties to Saruman, and the hag now, boy, this that's getting a little personal, Sardan. Um, And the evil creatures haunting these fells, I fear the old woman of the mountain may be more than just a simple old mountain woman. Uh, okay, well, you already called her a hag in, in, in league with Saruman, so, you know, I'm kind of thinking we've already, you know, the normal old mountain woman ship has already kind of sailed there, wouldn't you say, Sardan? But, okay, here we go. We're, whoa! We're being... Oh, okay, so we're on the path, and she's bringing... Okay, you're doing a great job. Your your wrath is considerable, uh, so that's good. I'll, I'll take care of this one, shall I? Okay. Nope, 
They won't hinder us. Neither will the dogs. The ravaging Kun Anun. I can get some positional damage in on this guy. Huh? Yeah, come over here and try that. Oh, I thought so. Oh, man. You guys have a lot of morale. This is going to take some doing after all, huh? All right, you take that one, Cyrodon. Don't die, because I'm not in a position to help you. Okay. All right. We're stealthing. Bam! All right, I'm getting some sweet positional damage on this guy. Oops. Well, he turned to face me. You're a lousy tank, Cyrodon. But that's okay. All right. Let's keep on going up the mountain. Where did all the ghosts and goats go to? No, no, this way. Wrong way, Cyrodon. Uphill, uphill. Mountain woman, remember. Okay, there you go. Wait, wait. Oh, the tree! Yeah, didn't even notice him. Yeah. I mean, I noticed the tree, but I didn't notice that it was a haunted tree. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, so let's, um, let's attack the tree. Can I attack a tree from my... Yes, I can, as it just turned to face me. Oops. I failed to kill him with my coup de grace. All right. There we go. Cyrodon, are you going to run all the way back to the... Okay, there we go. Let's go uphill, Cyrodon. We are carving a path up the mountainside. Oh, more oak roots. So, okay, so she was doing more necromancy kind of things before, right? I mean, if she was indeed in charge of this site... Oh. Yikes. So, tree. Um, so she was summoning spirits. She's got the dark crystals and the dark colors. Do you make a demon goat by putting a shadowy evil collar on a regular goat? Or is it like a shadow ghost collar that you put on like a demonic thing and th by the means of its collar, you entrap it in the form of a goat? Or is it perhaps the... Oh, you're fighting a different tree. Um, or is it perhaps the collar which, by some hideous compulsion of which I do not want to think too much, that you compel the demons to breed with the goats uh, in order to generate demon goats? Um, but it can't be that, as the demon goat spawn themselves were wearing collars, um, Though perhaps they get their own collars after the breeding process is over, but never mind. Let's just stop thinking about that and let's uh, focus instead on the trees because now we're getting all this... Hang on, Cyrodon. Where are you? I'm still pointed up. There you come! Good work. Where are we going? This way? Do we have to? We could have just left them. Um, really don't have to pick fights with every single tree on the mountainside on our way up to the so okay uh, let's see, get involved here Griffon. Um, anyway so so right but trees now right so now we've got animated trees and roots which suggests of course that her the influence of the witch of the mountain the old woman of the mountain here extends not just into the spirit realm but, oh, you knocked me all the way off the cliff. That was funny. Okay, um, but I want to I want to carry on killing this guy because I've already gotten a good start, uh, and I'm keen to continue. Uh, okay, I'm targeting the oak. Yes, I am. Uh, we're doing fine. Uh, so right, so she can what animate these trees, summon the trees. What is her relationship with trees? These aren't. Uh, Ents, exactly. These are, uh, are, I mean, they're not exactly horns. Um, it's very like the old forest, 
are we meant to understand that this place is like the forest is alive naturally around here as the forest uh, as the trees in the old forest were or uh, has she animated them in some sort of unnatural fashion okay where are we going now Saradan back to the path right are you going to come come back are you coming back we're, no we're going this way okay all right you know an alternate route that's fine uh, I support alternate routes, especially when they go straight through all of the danger that we can possibly find. Um, okay. The shadow in the east shall... What? You guys are a continual... Ch These spirits are like... Talk, 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 talk. Fall into shadows. You don't have time to attack with all the... talking you're doing. I'm going to kill some roots because they go down super easy. So, how about we do that? Alright, good job, Cyrodon. Oh, well, sort of good job. I mean, you are about to die, but apart from that, you're doing good work. Um, if we can just manage to keep you alive for a short time longer, and then maybe you can do some running around in circles like you do, back down the hill and back up the hill, in order to you know, recover yourself. Maybe that's what you were doing before. Maybe it was a tactical retreat. Um, oh, we're still getting hit by it. Is there... A, oh, there's still a root. Mr. Root, sorry there, Saradon. Okay, you're coming back up, though, right? Okay, hang on. Take your time, Saradon. Take your time. I need you to regen there. Okay. Up we go. Okay. Oh, man. There's been an outbreak of really terrible puns in the chat stream. Yeah. We need, like, a like a Surgeon General's warning here. Okay. And more trees! Boy, nothing but trees. We haven't, we haven't met a single demon goat in the whole trip. I mean, not that I absolutely insist on demon goats, of course. I'm totally fine living in a comparatively demon goat free environment, but um, I'm so I'm gonna think that she's enslaving the trees because see, notice um, in the old forest, notice the names that the trees are given, right? They're called things like enraged blood oak and things like that, right? This is a haunted oak, which suggests that the animation of the tree is in fact unnatural. Yeah, see, this is another haunted oak. Um, so, therefore, I would conclude that the trees and roots that we're meeting are, in fact, not a separate kind of power by the Old Woman of the Mountain, but, in fact, a, uh, a, a sort of derivative power, right? That it's still, ultimately, a necromancer-ish thing that she's doing. Um, it's, um, uh, like, a vaguely necromantic. That is, she's, she's sending lesser spirits to haunt the trees and to animate them, uh, I'm thinking. Okay. All right, Saradon. Let's go. You could really stand to heal a little bit more. Take some deep breaths. Can we chat? Yes, good. All right. There she is. Hang on. She got a backpack on? No. No, that's just her hunchback. Okay, I see. Oh, wow. Oh, she got some tattoos. Uh, right. That looks like a little like the Eye of Sauron, but probably isn't. And a skull bracelet. Oh, yeah. See, like the necromantic thing again, right? So she's got the whole, like... And, ooh. Okay. The face paint. I wasn't expecting that, but I guess I could have been. Um, all right, and you've got your bracers on your bony forearms. Okay, and what else do we have here? Got your little pouch made of what? Furs? Ooh, what are those things hanging all over your belts? Are those like trophies of people you've killed? Because some of them look like skulls and some of them look like... Uh, yeah, maybe do those come from like the war belts or baldrics of like chieftains that 
have sworn fealty to you, or maybe that you've killed and eaten afterwards, or how does that work, I wonder? What is that mess over there? Is that twigs? I thought it was a crossbow for a second, which would have been kind of intrepid, but no, I think it's... Oh, she got it on both sides. Look at that. Uh, is it cosmetic or functional? You'd think it would make it hard to sit down. Maybe that's maybe it's why she's unhappy, because it's really hard for her to relax. Um, uh, huh. Okay, so let's see. No. This is just a pouch, I guess. She only has the one skull bracelet, right? No skull bracelet on the other wrist. Yeah. Oh, she's got them on her head, too. These things, whatever these things are. These, like, brambles that she's got on both her hips and on her head. Hmm. Okay, Cyrodon. So I'm finished with my cosmetic inspection of the Old Woman of the Mountain, and I'm ready to uh, carry on. Yeah, let's deal with her and her little lieutenants to... Uh, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's not deal with her yet. Can I? I'm going to have some food. Let's do that. Let's be prudent here. Right? Let's have a little snack. I mean, I'm a hobbit, so naturally I have food in my pocket. So let's just eat a little bit of that. Let's, um... Hey, why not, um... Why not use a glorious Edelharn token? Because I could. Right? Because Grifflet just made, like, 50 of those. So that's fine. All right. Um, that looks good. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do this? Because we got a bunch of these. Okay, Cyrodon. Now I'm ready. Old woman, we demand that you leave the people of the Ukluth in peace. And Saruman the treasonous has no cause to do something or other, to bring such terror. You intrude upon my home in the name of the infidels of the north, friends of the horse folk. Well, not in their name exactly. The white hand shall crush the life from the filthy riders just as I will crush the life from you. Okay, in exact... Uh... Hey, it's a demon goat. Here I was complaining about the comparative dearth of goats. Oh, you've got two named goats, huh? Okay, I'll get this one. You get that one. Does that sound like teamwork there, Cyrodon? All right, it's busy falling before your wrath. We understand. Yeah, oh. There goes the one goat. No. Nope. It's not going to hinder you. Especially not after we carve it up. Okay. Um, that's good. So she is voicing... A tr so she positions herself as merely sort of, what, a faithful Dunlending? No, my pets, you shall pay for that. I will fall before your wrath. No, no, that's Sirenet. Uh, so she's turned the place green. That's probably bad. Boy, Sardin, don't you feel a little bit guilty about beating up on this old lady? Especially when she's like, eh, every time. Does she have the white hand on her back? She totally does. No. Is that, yes, it is. It is the white hand. Sorry, I should probably not die. Come on. We got her. Um... Okay, so she's been positioned as, like I said, a, a sort of a loyal, uh, as merely representing the Dunlending position, uh, not of. Okay, there she goes. We could probably chase her. Look, even I'm limping, and I can still catch up with her. Look at that. Oh, and I'm in the lead. Okay, where are we going? Over here. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Oh. Oh, you leave me your staff? No. Okay. She got away. It was a low-speed chase, Sardan, but I caught up with her, but I still couldn't get her. She's escaped. Well, you stood there while I was trying to do something, which still didn't work out. Um, while she may no longer bring terror to the Oakluth, I feel we have not yet seen the last of her. You may be right about that. Okay. Um, 
Man, I didn't even get to loot her corpse or anything. Okay, so she is representing the Dunlending point of view, as I said. So she's not like an independent sorcerer who already owes allegiance to Sauron or anything like that. She at least thinks of herself as chiefly a Dunlending who is being faithful to uh, the Dunlendish point of view, working against us because we are siding with the... Um, uh, she was siding with the... Because uh, uh, we're, we're siding with the, the riders, with the, with the Rohirrim, so... Okay. All right. Very good. You'll be pleased to go be away from this cursed, accursed hut. Yeah, especially because, like, you see, Sauron is also frustrated that you can't see whether or not there's a louver. All right. Here we are, Sauron. Ooh, we can see it better from here. Cool. All right. What did you think about that? What can I do for you? I fear the door opened by the old woman of the mountain will be a hard one to close. Ooh, an interesting metaphor. So what is the door opened? The relationship with Saruman? Is that what you're implying, Cyrodon? That it's your conclusion that the old woman of the mountain is the initial point of contact between Saruman? So Saruman... So what? He, like, knew the Old Woman of the Mountain from, like, witch conventions, right? So they, 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 they'd they been to the same conferences and stuff, so he already kind of knew her informally as a colleague, right, who lived in this area. And then he approached her to broach the formal idea of a partnership uh, when he began to have, like, expansionist ideas, I'm guessing, right? That's kind of what you're suggesting there, Saradon? I like that idea. Um... So do you think that she, therefore, is sort of the linchpin for Enidwife and the, uh, the Saromanic president presence here in, in Enidwife alone or in all of Dunland? I, I don't know. Let's see. We'll have to see what we find. Okay. Did you, is, that, is that it? You're done? You're done. Okay. All right. You're done. So let's go to the Gloom Glens now. Thank you, Sardon. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to take the road north. So I think I'm going to jump off the cliff again. Yeah! All right. Uh, and then we'll head north. And see if I can find the ranger camp in the Gloom Glens. And then, I think that's all we're going to have time for today. So we'll start from there next time and do the Gloom Glens next week. No! Ah, about that. Um, I'm traveling again next week. Um, this time, it's my, it's family travel. My sister-in-law is getting married. So I have to go to my sister-in-law's wedding out in Nevada. Um... I can't do the angle of the camera uh, conveniently with one hand and move at the same time. Uh, one of my biggest struggles with the one-handed thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be... Uh, um, I'm not going to be able to stream next Friday, but I will be back the Friday after that, the last Friday in, uh, uh, oh, look, a path. Um, uh, yeah, so, for, so the last Friday in June, I'll be back and I'll be able to stream then. And, um, then it's going to get dodgy again the next week. I'll probably, I, I will, I'll definitely be away again next week, uh, the week after that. But let's do a couple weeks at a time. So I won't be here next week, but I will be back the week after that. Um, okay, we're in the Gloom Glens, and there are pigs. Okay. We shall avoid the pigs, and there are probably wolves, and there are stags. Look at that. Quite noble stags. Isn't stag bull a little bit redundant? That's all right. Yep, wolves, just as I expected. And rangers, hark! 
Here it is. Hey guys. I found your camp. Hooray. Okay. So we'll start with it. Oh, what are you doing over here, man? You lose something? Can I help? Oh well, never mind. Okay, so never mind. So Griffith will turn in here. And uh uh, we will come back so the week after next when I return we will do the gloom glens and uh, see what we can find here I'm looking forward to what Griffith's going to find here in the gloom glens uh, so that'll be great um, and um, uh, and then after that we'll head down to Lanuk as we continue to work our way slowly through Enidwyth uh, glad we did get to the old, the old woman of the mountain today that was satisfying thanks for joining me everybody um and I will see you guys in two weeks. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye.